Bowman here from BW1.com where we're going to do a quick review on the Blackberry Torch 9850 for Verizon. It's sort of a mid-range uh, phone from the BlackBerry lineup here. It follows up from the BlackBerry Storm with an all-touch screen design. It doesn't have that clickable screen that we, um, remember the BlackBerry Storm starting out with. It has just a standard screen, um, touch screen on it at 3.7 inches. Still weird to have a BlackBerry without a keyboard, that world-famous keyboard that they're known for. It does have our uh, physical buttons here at the bottom for uh, send and end, which is something you normally don't see in a lot of smartphones these days. You have the BlackBerry button, back button, and then you have a um, optical trackpad. Also works as a button as well too. On this side you have the uh, micro USB port. You have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You have your volume and convenience key and camera keys right here on the side, embedded into the um, border right here. Sometimes it's a little tough to kind of click down on the side here, so just just keep keep aware of that. It's even too tough to see kind of within the camera here. On the back you have a 5 megapixel camera with flash, 720p HD video recording. It's pretty much going to get the job done, but it's not going to blow you away in terms of quality. Uh, it does come with a uh, 16 gigabytes of storage. It is a 3G world phone, so it does have a SIM card already pre-installed. And it also um, is, has a 1.2 gigahertz processor to keep things nice and smooth and fast. The 3G only phone, so there isn't any 4G LTE or HSPA Plus uh, available with this. Here at the top is the lock button. When you hit that, opens up to the uh, opens up the phone, and now you can see the BlackBerry 7 OS, which is the latest OS from them, with the liquid graphics. You can see everything looks really nice and uh, really smooth in terms of sort of transitions here. There isn't any multiple desktops; it's just really multiple folders here that you can um, organize and add stuff differently. So if you want to add media to your favorite, you can do that. You can actually uh, hide the icon. You can move it around. You can let's say you want to move it, and you want to move it over to. Let's try that one more time. Want to move it? You can move it down one. Switch with the Bing. Let's say you want to make camera a favorite app. You can uh, mark as a favorite. Now it shows up right here under your favorites. As you can see there, and you can put this all the way up or halfway or kind of all the way down there if you want to, as far as the menu is concerned. You can change the background. Not not much in terms of customization other than really changing the background. You can manage the panels. As you can see that you can change which ones you want and we hit the options there. You can change your download folder, you can change your wallpaper, reset your settings and stuff like that. Nothing too tremendous in terms of customization. Also right here, there's a notification area there where all your notifications will be located for email, text and so on. Here at the top you get all your connections when you tap up there. So you have your network connections, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and so on. So you just want to tap away from each one of those. In terms of software, it's pretty much standard what you see inside of a BlackBerry and you got the Horizon preloaded stuff like Vcast music videos, Vcast tones and stuff like that. You do have the BlackBerry music store available, Slacker radio is pre-installed. Um, everything pretty much looks like you would normally expect with a BlackBerry. It really isn't much in terms of um, great changes. Um, there's a nice browser with it. It's pretty, it's okay for the most part. I wasn't able to, at the time of the review, the browser is giving me a little bit of issues sort of running, but we can... Um, run a text message here real quick just to show you what the keyboard looks like as you can see there it's a pretty tight keyboard we'll uh, see if we can start a new message here just, just type something there and just try and start a new message type with the keyboard this is the song and you can see it's a little cramped in terms of the keyboard there but if you do rotate it here to landscape mode you get a little bit more room this is the song that and autocorrect thing is, is okay for the most part there, so you can get an idea of the keyboard is. But it's just very weird to have a BlackBerry without that physical keyboard. It's one of the things I would just kind of repeatedly say here. So the BlackBerry Torch does get some good battery life and, and some good call quality. I was able to get through the day on, on a single charge. And if you're a moderate user, you'll probably be able to pull a couple of days off on the BlackBerry here. Um, call quality, people could hear me well, I could hear them well. Overall reception was good and, and solid for the most part with it. It's typical stuff that you would expect with the BlackBerry here. So um, overall, it's very good hardware. It's just got some outdated software, I would say, compared to what's out on the market right now. A lot of people are BlackBerry fans. The BlackBerry OS, for the most part, is good, but it definitely needs to see some improvements, which we're going to see sort of with their future devices coming up. But as of right now, this phone, I would say, is definitely good for a user that... Um, is a beginner smartphone user that really wants to sort of just dip their toe into the smartphone market and they're big in the phone and email and they, and they you know they might use this for business enterprise purposes which the BlackBerry OS is really 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 has a lot of core stuff for that so um, I would say that it would be good for those type of users and um, overall I like the device and like I said I still think uh, RAM's got a little bit of ways to go before I can really say they're really back here in, in the game and really putting out some strong devices there 
So this is Bowman here from VW1.com giving you a quick review on the BlackBerry Torch 9850. Reminding you to subscribe to our YouTube page. Connect with us on all our social media from Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube on here of course, your yeah, RSS feeds, Google Plus. The links to all of that is in the description. Our main website at VW1.com where we got a full written up review with pictures and stuff as well. The link is available in the description too. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.